Thank you. You guys doing all right? Thanks so much for gathering around. And I would like to send a special thank you out to, to Peter Wilde. I'm actually wearing his shirt here. Peace out for you guys. We had a request. We do take requests. We don't necessarily do them, but we take them. Especially if they're already in our set list. It's ironic that you call out free bird. We're, say it again. We're, we're going to encore with that. Say, say it again. Say it again. Go ahead. Didn't cost you a nickel. What about Sweet Home Alabama? Well, this is a piece about Sweet Home Alabama. In an ironic sort of way, it is. Also, sing along. Because I will admit it. Maybe you will make fun of it by calling it out at a bar in Eugene, Oregon, but I will stand proudly and admit it. But sometimes when I'm riding down the road, I will listen to classic rock. Because it doesn't matter how young, how old, how middle-aged you are, you will go through the rest of your life listening to the music that you listened to in the ninth grade. And you will go through the rest of your life dancing exactly the way you danced in the ninth grade. Now, I was listening to Sweet Home Alabama on the radio, the Pennsylvania Turnpike. When I'm not making this up, I came across this sea of fireflies and they began to blink in unison with the orange construction hat. The night has come. The light is dark. The moon is the only light I see. And I thought about the last time I was in Pennsylvania, driving along the Pennsylvania Turnpike. I was actually going to visit Ann Feeney. I went down to my favorite little Irish bar to sit and write. Now usually, this is a quiet Irish bar where I will scribble silently and drink Jameson's until I have hallucinations of being Dylan Thomas. But I made a mistake, my friends. I forgot that this was St. Patrick's Day weekend. And my sweet little retreat had hired, of all things, a karaoke DJ. And a sign on the door read, ladies drink for free. I won't be afraid, no, I won't be afraid. Just as long as you stand, stand by me. Now the funny thing about fireflies is, I know you guys don't have them here in Oregon, so let me explain. It's only the male that flickers. They do this in hopes of attracting a female. Now, I'm not making this up. If no female can be found, the male will begin to blink in unison in the hopes that their combined brilliance will reach the heart, or at least the thorax, of their beloved. Stand by me. The barflies are garnished in these blinking green shamrocks and unbearable paper hats. Yet somehow I cannot break from my own tradition because this is what is happening and I came here to write. So reluctantly, I accept my own blinking shamrock and order a green beer 
and find the only open table as familiar acoustic guitar chords leap from the karaoke sound system and the DJ rummages for a potential participant. The sky that we look upon should tumble and fall. The mountains should cry to the sea. A single firefly escapes the windshield of my car and bring it burns in a rhythm all his own. And I began to think, what do fireflies think as they enliven their luminous bodies captive in a giant mayonnaise jar? Do they dream of pulling themselves up by their tiny little bootstraps as they slide down the glass? At the bar, I get into an argument with a libertarian who tells me the poor deserve what they get and they should pull themselves up by their tiny little bootstraps. Someone steps up to the microphone to intone the ubiquitous. I won't be afraid. I won't be afraid. Just as long as you stay, stand by me. Lightning bugs blink together just once as someone at the bar. and join the chorus. Stand by me. Strangers oh, claim glasses and swear oh, undying friendship bound oh, by lyrics inscribed upon our psyches by, by the tattoo needles of elevators and grocery store ambiance. Stand by me. The libertarian oh, fumbles for change. I pick up his tab oh, saying, stand, stand by me. Citing Rosa Parks as an example of it being the individual at the heart of settling the world's tribulations. But I say, if you think a middle-aged cleaning woman from Montgomery, Alabama, single-handedly started the civil rights movement, then you probably think that Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone. The has come. The land is dark. The world is the only light we see. And it occurs to me that the reason some people want us poor folks to pull ourselves up by our bootstraps is just to get us to bend over. Oh, I would be and the highway looks to this web by a single strand of Christmas lights blinking in perfect harmony while a thousand car radios are tuned to Rush Limbaugh citing an opposite reality. Yet somehow the whole bar sings together. Oh, you can do better than that. Sing together. Aware of my own awkwardness and accepting the fact that such absurd pop songs have captured the zeitgeist of a generation, but too reluctant to care. I strike my cigarette lighter and hold it in the air. Others follow suit. Cigarette lighter slice open the door. People begin to sway back and forth. Strangers link arms. Some go home together. As darkness descends. And each solitary sparkle is extinguished. The darkness descends. But in that darkness, in that darkness, a new generation of fireflies is created.
Thank you very much. See what it does when we work together. We are greater as a